Do you mind if I videotape you? Yeah, yeah sure. Alright, cool. What's your name? Tim. Tim Dax. I'm Gregory Cook. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, cool, bro. Nice to meet you. It is an honor to introduce to you the single most influential person I've ever met on the subway. It's Tim Dax. When I saw him on the train, I had to approach him. Not knowing what to make of this character, torn straight out of a All Marvel right, comic book. It's film. Tim Dax, D-A-X, on the New York City subway. I was floored, then transfixed to this magnetic personality. I was blessed One of the about to stumble upon. The New York upon. City Transit Authority is that your subways take you everywhere in the city and they take you outside at times so you get to see interesting and fabulous things that you've probably never seen before and never will again. Like meeting somebody as marvelous as Tim Dax on the Ford train. Hey, how you doing? I soon realized Tim Dax's magnetic personality was his superpower. A dude, I have no idea who that guy is, but he acted like he knew me. <laughs> Maybe I know him from. See, here's the here's the, here's the, here's the thing. Um, I've been asked if I'm self-conscious at all about people staring on the subway. Well, no. <laughs> Life is too short, and you know, the more people that stare. I'm an actor, man. I'm putting it all out there. I want more people. To Tim's frank answer to my question created an Oprah aha moment for me. What a mini during our time. Man. I expect people to be looking because it is different. I expect them to be curious and ask questions. I expect some people not to understand and make a face and walk away. It's all good. Keeping it real. <laughs> At that very moment, I became a fan of Tim Dax, just like all these other people riding the subway with us. Cool, cool, thank you. See, New York City subways are pretty damn cool. I can't disagree with you. When I speak and I want people to understand who I am, you're not ever gonna hear me complain about stuff. I don't find, I don't have the time for it. Let's have another aha moment with Tim Dax. I who typically enjoys complaining about things. So you make the best of anything no matter where you're at. So if you're in a subway and it's 110 degrees in the subway stop, you know, deal with it. Get on with it. Experience Wisdom it. Wisdom we should all embrace in life. Thank you Tim Dax for that aha moment. After an hour hanging together on the green line, there was no question in my mind that regardless of age, race, sex, or religion, there is no way that you could not be charmed by his magnetic power. I met Tim, the gladiator, the tattoo gladiator. That's what I look. And I, when, I, when I first came in, I thought it was fake. That it was like um, painted on or spray painted on. But when I seen his expression and the way he was moving, the head, the skin, the expression on his foil, that's when I realized it was, it's, it's real. Everyone I saw speaking to Tim Jacks was instantly hypnotized by his magnetic force. Luckily, I was able to capture his superhero strength on film for you. Um, there was a guy on the train just a moment ago who asked me about my ankle tattoos and what the padlock signified. And I've always thought to have in my mind 
what it was. Maybe I'm a slave to myself, I'm a slave to my own aesthetic, I'm a slave to a lifestyle that I lead, which is very disciplined and training and, and focusing on work and etc. Um, but I just said something to him that I don't, I never worded quite the way I did to him. And when he asked me, what do the padlocks around your ankles mean? I looked at him and I thought for a second, and then I responded, I said, you know, gladiators, gladiators were warriors, but they're also slaves, you know, and they were forced to fight. And uh, I'm a gladiator. Um, I fight for my happiness. I fight for my joy. I fight to be who I am. Um, I'm a fucking gladiator. Tim Dex is so powerful, he even gives himself an aha moment. Anyone else has the power and ability to do whatever the f they want to do. It's just they gotta do it. And they gotta start believing they can. And little by little by little by little by little, you just keep going. And just do it. And at that very moment, Tim Dex became about that. <laughs> my favorite superhero. And I'm clearly not the only one who feels that way. As I said before, everybody loves Tim Dex, including me. Yeah, that's that's a, what they call a New York moment. Yeah, man. You can live in this city and just walk out the door and be entertained in a two block radius. There's your Broadway show. <laughs> walk outside. Or in this case, just go down into the subway. So what's next Things for Tim Things have worked out so well, and I've evolved, and I'm about now to take it West Coast style. Uh, in two weeks, I am leaving for Los Angeles. I own an apartment in New York City, which I will keep because I will Ironically, I, I moved to California's Bay I Area a month after New York City. But it's time now to move on to Los Angeles and conquer Los Angeles. Unfortunately, they don't have subways yes, in Yes, they Angeles. do. Oh, wait, they have one. One's not enough, I'll LA. I'll send you a video in when I report to myself on that, but... That sounds like an it's, open it's invitation to come down to the LA to film the sequel to uh, Tim Deck's well, Subway Store. Actually, what I'll do when I come back is ride the subway, because that's real. Subways are real. Real people going to real places, doing real things. Which is why I created Subway Stories from around the world to meet real people like Tim Dex, my all-time favorite Subway Story superhero. Sorry, Batman on the B. For more subway stories, make sure to visit www.greycliff.com.